Okay, so let's have a look at what a definition of a function is. A function is a special mapping such that every element of the domain is mapped to exactly one element of the range. So that means that every element of the domain goes to exactly one element of the range. Now two of them could go to the same one. That's fine because it's, because at least both of those map to exactly one on the range, okay, one value of the range. Um, however, you couldn't have a value of the domain going to two different values of the range. That wouldn't be a function, okay? Let's have a look at those in sort of our mapping diagrams and see what they mean. Okay, so look at mapping diagrams. Uh, a one-to-one -one function is where you have every element of the domain mapping to exactly one element of the range, okay? So as you can see, it just goes across, mapping one-to-one, -one, okay? Um, a many-to-one function, uh, that would be something like the x squared function, uh, where you get uh, you know, two different values, or even more, going to the same value of the uh, range, okay? So, it, but the key thing is that every element of the domain does go to at least one value of the range, okay? So, for instance, on the x squared one, you would have one going to one and minus one going to one. You would have two going to four and minus two going to four. But because every single input, every single element of the domain does go to one value of the range, then it is a function, okay? <coughs> now. Um, a one to many is not a function, okay? So you couldn't have one element of the domain going to two different values of the range, okay? That does that is not a function, okay? Um, also, um, if you had an asymptote value, you need to be careful there. You know, you couldn't have a value of the domain not going across to a value of the range, okay? Um, we, you can sort of make it a function by restricting the domain and stating that, but we'll look at that later. Okay, so let's have a look at from graphs which ones are functions and which ones aren't functions and what type of functions they are if they are a function. Okay, so having a look at this one, this is a linear graph, something like y equals x plus 2, and this is a function. Okay, now as you can see, remember the domain is the input, so like the x values, and the range is the, the output, like the y values. Okay, so if I put in a value, I get one particular value from the height, so the range. If I put in another member of the domain, I get another value of the range. If I put another value of the domain, I get another element of the range. So this is what you call a one to one function. Okay? Um, so any sort of straight line graph would be a one to one function, um, as long as there wasn't any asymptotes. Um, something like, um, or what else? Something like an x cubed graph would be a one to one function. Uh, because okay, it does have a point of inflection, it does come up and then up again, but every single value that you put in, you get a different, um, you get a unique value for um, and a unique output, a unique value of the range. Okay, let's have a look at this quadratic graph. Okay, now as you can see, okay, um, if I put in something like um, two, I might get one value, and if I put a minus two, I might get the same value. Okay, so that's what you call a one to many, sorry. Many to one, many to one function. Because many values of the domain may go to the same value of the range, but every value does go to a corresponding value of the range. So, for instance, as you can see, two particular values that you put in may give you the same height. So, many go to one answer. Okay, so it's a many to one function. Okay, now this graph here, okay, any graph that sort of goes back on itself, see the way here it's going back on itself, it's like looping around, won't be a function, okay? The reason is you can't have one particular input going to two different heights, okay, two values in the range, okay? That would be a one-to-many, okay, which isn't a function, so that's not a function. You can't have one value of the domain going to different values of the range. Also, there's different values here, all the way along here, all these negative numbers, they don't map to anything, okay? They don't go across to any value of the range. So therefore, you know, remember the definition of a function. A function is where every value of the domain is mapped to at least one value of the, oh, sorry, is mapped to exactly one value of the uh, range. Right, let's have a look at this one. This is the y equals 1 over x graph. So you've got your two 
uh, sections of it. Now this, okay, now it looks like a function because you've got every single value of the positive int uh, positive values, all the uh, positive values, mapped to exactly one value of the uh, range, okay, uh, and the negative ones. But here you can see there's an asymptote here, okay. So zero doesn't map to anything. Now the rule is every value of the domain has to map to exactly one value of the range. Now zero doesn't, so that is not a function.